Might pop in on Audrey, see if she wants a lift to the hospital. Oh, well, tell Sarah I'll be down later. Won't be long now, sweetheart. Mummy will be home for good. Mm, won't be so keen to share a room now, will you? Getting too much of a big girl for that. Yeah. Well, maybe when things are turned around, we can start thinking about that new house. I'm just sorry it won't be sooner rather than later. Richard, I'm not bothered about moving. And I don't want you to feel sorry or ashamed. It's that that stopped you telling me how much of a mess we were in. I know. And no more bribery. I'm sorry I can't think what else to call it. Gail, I promise to be more upfront in future. That's all I'm asking for. Come on, lovey. Right. Now, those are for posting. That's for the dry cleaners. I'm sorry I can't offer you anything, but um, I've got a job on for Archie. It's the mother of a former lady mayoress. Friend of Alfie's, actually. Well, I wish you'd said, Audrey, I'd have brought a flask. Oh. <laughs> no, listen, I only dropped by because I thought you might want to go to the hospital, you know? Uh, Sarah's starting a physio today. Oh, is she? Oh, bless her. No, it'll have to be later now. Oh, my goodness, look at the time. Well, I'll run you in if you like. Well, no, because that means you've got to double back on yourself. Well, I'll let the shelf worry about that. <laughs> well, if you're sure. Quick, before you talk me out. Oh, good, thank you. Well, I can't wait to see Sarah at home. Give her my love, girl. We will. Bethany was relieved to be going to the crash today and not the hospital. I think yesterday I was so tired. Well, it's hardly surprising, is it, seeing her mum in that state? Did we have to do this? You've got to face people sooner or later. We'll just stay for the walk. Hiya, the usual. Yes, please, Shelley. Oh, no, 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 Kent. These are on me. Oh, thank you. How'd it go? Well, I'm back in court in the new year. By which time Aidan's bruises will have disappeared and Sarah will still be in physio. Where are the police up to with him, have you heard? Well, I'm not holding my breath, but um, he's been charged with reckless driving and goodness knows what else, but it's still not enough to keep him behind bars until the trial. And meanwhile, David has to see him every day at school. Hey, uh, listen, uh, when you finish that one, I'd like to buy you one, OK? Thanks, Andy. Well, we're not stopping. Oh, well, um, half and steak could you please, I'll bring you over. You'll be back in school, won't you, soon? Well, the heads supported him all the way so far, but um, oh, we'll have to see. Yeah, Archie, now, can I make you a sandwich or something to keep you going? Oh, no, I'll not fade away. This'll be fine, oh, thanks. Would you believe it? You, I knew I got things to do in town. Uh -oh. <laughs> Too much on our plates, Audrey. That's my excuse. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's up? Um... Uh, it's just, I got a dress I was going to take to the dry cleaners and I could have sworn... Uh, no! I definitely left it on the sofa. Yeah, well, maybe you moved it. No, 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 it was here with the letters when I left this morning. <laughs> Where could it have gone? Well, uh, why don't you check upstairs? Okay, oh, God, listen to me. Come on, finish your tea and get off. It'll turn up. <laughs> You've got no time for all this. Hey, I've plenty of time. <laughs> it, uh, it wasn't there. I've searched everywhere. Hey, that's not the order you did herself proud this morning. I swear, Archie, I put it on the sofa. I mean, I can see it now, as God as my witness. Let's go back. Now, you put it out. What happened next? Well, we came to yours. Richard came round and he drove me in. And you don't think you took it with you? No. Even though you meant to? Yeah, it was in a rush. So, who's to say you didn't leave it in Richard's car? Eh? Hey? Well, at least ask. Oh. Ooh. I think I might have had a brainwave. Oh, yeah. Time one of us did. It'll solve all our problems, but it'll give us a bigger place to live. Go on. We've got a garage we hardly use. We could convert it into a bedroom. It'd be ideal for Sarah. Yeah, but she might want to move out on her own in a year or two. So? Well, it'd be an empty room. A granny flat? <laughs> Don't know how much it'd cost. Maybe a couple of thousand. Oh, well, then. 
So even that's out of the question? Well, for the time being, yeah. There's the insurance money from the car. Gail. We're managing with the one we've got. I'd rather see it go towards this. I've used it. What? Loan repayment on the conversion. I had to get it from somewhere. So, the money we were relying on, it's been and gone. Hello. Audrey. Oh. Hello. Oh, now, I'm not stopping. I've just been to check on the salon. <coughs> Richard, um, when you gave me a lift this morning, did I leave anything in the car? Well, have you lost something? Uh, it's just a dress I was supposed to take to the cleaners. Uh, you saw me put it out this morning, do you remember? Not really. Oh, but I can't find it for the life of me, so I just wondered. Well, uh, hang on. Gail, uh, when did you last see it? Hi, ma'am. Everything all right? Uh, have you seen a missing dress? Sorry? Oh, nothing. Look, it doesn't matter. Well, it's not nothing, ma'am, or else you wouldn't have come knocking. You're getting yourself worked up again. No, no, I was just passing it. Well, it's what it looks like to me. Oh, honestly. Well, I'm going before I'm accused of all sorts. <laughs> well, Audrey, look, I mean, if you find it, give us a ring. <laughs> all right. Yes. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Is she all right? Dunno. Yes, that'll be fine. Look, um, I've got to go. See ya. Honestly, my ma'am. What was all that about? Bonfire night. Did I want her to get fireworks? And if I did, what sort? Hmm, dangerous things, fireworks, in the wrong hands. I told her to get what she got before. Anyway. What are you doing today? Oh, a few phone calls, a few deals. All honest and above board. Did I say anything? Mm, didn't have to. It's good to see you positive. Yeah, I'm positive about a couple of things right now, actually. Yeah? Yeah. First thing I'm positive about is that I'm taking you out for a meal tonight because but... you deserve a treat. And we better do it before Sarah comes home and the house is full of teenagers. And I'm going to ask Audrey to babysit, so no arguments. OK. What else are you positive about? That you're late for work. How's uh, Sarah? Oh, she should be home, sir. Oh, now that is good news. In fact, I'm just about to ask Audrey to babysit tonight. You know, I want to give Gail a treat. Oh, and quite right, too. So you should. I mean, after all she's been through. Yep. I'll tell you what. If Audrey's not available, I'll sit for you. There's many a ghoulish tale I can tell young David. <laughs> I'll bet there is. Well, I'll tell you what. If Audrey's not free, I'll give you a call. Good luck. <laughs> there she is now. I'll see you later. All right. Bye. Take care. Audrey. Oh, glad I caught you. I just wanted to ask you something. Oh, yeah? Uh, it's about my uh, David's been saying that he especially wants some rockets. Oh. And uh, I know Gail, well, she's a bit fond of Catherine wheels. Are you sure? Yeah. So I thought if I sorted the rockets, would you make sure you got some Catherine wheels in with, with whatever you get? Yeah, yeah, OK. Yeah? Oh, great. OK, well, better get some work done. Yeah. See you later. See you, okay, bye. bye. Look, I want to dash off because I want to try and catch that film. Oh, well, thanks for your company. It's always a pleasure. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Norris. Oh. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Look, that Have you been thing. in the Rovers? Hi, sweetheart, Sarah. So you should be. We've been waiting over an hour imagining all sorts. What are you talking about? You were supposed to be babysitting. Am I? Yeah, Richard asked you at lunchtime. Yeah, I said I was taking Gail out from me. But you didn't. No, all you talked to me about were Catherine Wheels. Catherine Wheels? Yes. Before that, I asked you to babysit. Well, perhaps I made a mistake. That's right, that's right. You told me you were going to ask Audrey. In fact, I was surprised when you said you were having an early night. Look, nobody asked me to babysit. I would have remembered that. No, uh, I'm sorry, love. I'll come with you. No, now. it's too late now. We'll have lost the table. I'll see you tomorrow. You didn't ask. You didn't. Would you like another drink? Oh, no, I best get home. Come on. Thank you. 